New at 6. In the days and weeks following the deadly Metro smoke incident, accusations surfaced that Metro workers were not trained to respond properly. Now that's changing. Metro announces specialized training is happening now. Stephen Sheeta takes us inside the operation. They fill a foam metro tunnel with fake smoke. The idea to recreate the type of situation which left a woman dead on a halted metro train last month. Visibility it can be very, very limited in here. But it isn't just diminished vision the training facility aims to recreate. There is fake fire, doors which need to be broken down or through. It even has the emergency call box you see in stations located under those blue lights. The telephone is for contacting our control center. The red button is for, is for taking down third rail power. These are actual metro rail cars which were involved in an accident back in 96. Now the whole design here is intended to give first responders a, a realistic experience. This really simulates the environment that they're actually going to work in, God forbid, during an emergency incident. A train car here actually tilts to give those undergoing training an opportunity to test their footing in a car which has rolled. There's emphasis on dealing with the third rail, the electrified line which powers metro rail cars. This is a warning device to let you know that power has been re-energized. Hundreds of responders, mostly from the regional fire police and other law enforcement agencies, come here for experience. As far as why Metro opened its facility to the media today, apparently to give the public a message. But it's just a reminder to the region that this tool, this resource is here for them. And also some reassurance for Metro passengers. Stephen Sheeta, ABC 7 News.